Hello everyone, this is Pedro from the Builderall Customer Success Team and today we're very happy to present to you Builderall's brand new tool, the Builderall Live Chat, an extremely powerful tool that allows you to create chat systems so your customers can contact you and your team. So without further ado, this is the Builderall Live Chat dashboard and if you're wondering how can I access this tool, simply you're going to access it through the supercharged bundle and you can click here on live chat and you'll be redirected to this page that we are right now. So this video will be showing you, first of all, we'll be giving you an overview of the tool, what you can do with it, how you can uh, access all the different uh, configuration systems and what you can do with them. And also we're going to show you live how you can add that live chat into first a literal website and to an external website in this case, we're going to be using a Wix website, but you can apply that to many different uh, um, external website platforms. You can apply it to anyone, but uh, we're just going to focus on one, of course, for time saving purposes. But make sure to use the live chat no matter where your website is located. So without further ado, this is the dashboard, right? You can see a few options right here and we're going to go through all of them. But first, let's act, uh, analyze what we have here in our face right now. So here, of course, you have some information on the tool. You can customize and install the live chat below. And if you wish to change add departments, uh, groups, attendance, you're going to do that on the left hand menu. So the first thing that you're going to have is the global script installation. The live chat is going to be added on your website, whether it's a bureau or an external website you're going to do it through a global script. We're going to go that, as I said, later on in this video. Right here, you have um, the websites, which is where that, um, that live chat is going to be. This is also part of the integration, the actual installation of the live chat. And we're going to go through that a little later. On the bottom here, you have more information on the attendant interactions. But before we, go, we can proceed, let's go through all of these options right here. So here is where you're going to configure a few things about the chat itself. So first thing is customer data. Here you're going to select if you want to capture the customer information in the, as soon as they open the chat, right? So you can click here on request the customer's name and email. And right here, you can customize the, the name and email request messages. So here, the, the messages are in Portuguese. I'm gonna say, hi, what's your name? Your name, you can add the message you want. And right here, for example, I'm saying, nice to meet you. What's your email? You can also ask that. Simply, once you do that, click on save. If you don't, select a customized uh, a name and email request messages you're gonna your client's gonna have a standard one but it's always nicer to give yourself you know give the the, the chat uh, a personal touch click here on save is very important to click save on every single step because uh they are different configurations so once you uh, change something click here on save now we're going to go to the robot what is the robot well the robot is uh the let's say the image is going to appear in the standard messages that we're showing. So for example, the messages that we just said here, this is gonna be said by the, the, the robot. So here you're just going to, you know, um, set the robot's name. You can create a nice name for it, or you, it can have something to do with your company or something like that. Let me sit, let me just say Peter. I want Peter the robot, my name is Pedro, and my robot's name is gonna be Peter. And you can also change the image. This is the standard uh, image for our robots, but you can click here uh, and you can choose an image to drop. Of course, you're gonna see the files that you have on your computer. Simply drop them. It has to be a square image, by the way, because of the size, and this is uh, the size it's gonna use. Again, click on save. I'm not gonna change the image because I like this one. Uh, but his name is now Peter. Now, the floating button. What is the floating button? Well, this is the button that the client is going to click on to open a chat, right? So he's going to access your website and you're going to see this little icon on, let's say, on the, the bottom right hand corner of the website. Uh, you can change the image. Let's say you have a custom icon, you have something. Uh, they're customized for your your company, maybe to 
but you know, have a different thing you can add it. I'm just gonna leave this one, but it's the same thing. Just click here uh, and add the image. Same thing uh, with the robot, it has to be a square image. Um, and you, this is the size uh, of the image. And here you're going to select the button size. So you can make it really large, you can make it really small. So uh, it's a little bit hidden, doesn't, you know, uh, uh, um, appear you know in front of anything else on your website i'm just gonna leave it 50 because i think it's a it's a, a good size for the button i'm gonna click here on save again going to save everything along the way and now you have the pop-up what is the pop-up pop-up is the chat itself so here you're going to decide what's gonna what's the size of the chat gonna be because the chat's going to appear on the on your website right so it's not gonna take the whole screen it's just gonna be one little thing on the side. So it's, you have the icon, which is the flowing button before the chat is open. Once the chat's open, you're going to see the pop up uh, um, as a whole. We're going to demonstrate that once the configurations are all done. So you can uh, change the width and the height of the button. So I'm not going to change this one. Um, and I'm, so I'm just going to click on save. Attendant interactions. This is <clears throat> where. Uh, this is how your attendants, your operators, will access the website from their computers, their homes, and whatever. So this is the login link for this um, for this tool. So you simply copy this and send it to your operators, your your employees, whoever is going to be actually responding to your customers. And here you have the option to allow them once they they log in to create their own name and password so if activated the attendant can add it its own profile maybe you don't want to have you know the the attendant's name the, the operator's name you want to have the general uh, uh um let's say visual for all of the attendants uh you can do that through here as well uh so simply uh, allow it or don't allow it that is up to you okay so this is the most important things that you're going to see on this main page. Of course, we have this option and we have this sites option, but we're gonna come back to this later on in the video. Now let's start, let's uh, start browsing the other options that we have here on this menu. First option is the chat queue. So this is uh, the same thing that your operator will see on their computer once they access through the link that you just sent, but uh, it allows you to, first of all, it allows you to help, you know, actually grab the chats and, and answer the customers there if you want to do so. Or it's here so you can monitor the activities, you know, how many chats are in progress, how many chats were finished today. You can have that uh, uh, overwatch, uh, you know, over your, your department so you can see everything that's going on have the progress, the finished tickets, and you can also use the chat to filter. You're going to have more departments here, uh, so you can uh, filter the, 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 the chats. So here, so maybe you, you want to find a specific chat, maybe the chat that happened in the past, you want to go back, so you can use that chat filter to find that as well. So not a lot to see here. This is uh, exactly what the operators will see, but also helps you uh, supervise everything that's going on in your support department. Now we're gonna we're getting to a very important part, it, which is the department dashboard. Here, here's where you're going to create the departments to create the divisions inside your support team, right? So, first of all, we're just going to go through this. You're gonna have uh, statistics right in your first page. You're gonna have statistics, so you can separate those statistics by departments. Those are the active departments. And this is a very interesting thing. You can still access statistics from the leader department. Let's say you had a financial uh, support department for your company for last year, right? And you still want, but that, that department's no longer operating, right? You, if you want to come back and see those statistics, you can. Uh, but let's see uh, the statistics in general. So you have how many chats uh, are a part of that department in relation to total, percentage of chats being attended. You can see how many open chats, closed chats throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. You can you can um, follow that so you can make sure everything is working as you want. You can solve that by attended as we have not created any attendants, any operators yet. 
um, you don't have the statistics, but you will have a full list of all your operators on this on this um, section right here. So you can follow exactly which uh, what they're doing. And right here, you can also filter by uh, the chats individually. So you can see all the chats that happen in the last 24 hours. So you can see the average queue time, the average service time, and you can compare that with last year, last month, and whatever. Very interesting statistics as well. So you can make sure that you're helping the, the customer and every everybody is following a standard, right? In this section right here, uh, right here, you're going to register new departments. So, but before we do that, you're gonna click here on see uh, the list of departments, and you'll see all the departments that you currently have. This is a general. General. It just means Portuguese kind of means general general so it's just one department but so let's say this is uh, let's change the name for technical support right so this is going to be our main department say let's uh, I'm, go I'm going to use the departments that we have here in literal as an example right so we have the two main departments which is the technical department and the financial uh, department for the support so you know you one for problems, configuration issues, and the other ones for payments and, and upgrades and, and, and invoices and all of that. So we're gonna create those departments here so you can kind of see how that would work. Um, as you guys saw, you can click here on this little pencil to change the name of the department if you want. Uh, and you can click here on this little gear to see more uh, uh, specific configurations for that department. So here I'm going to select English because this is the language that we're going to use in this department and I can set the time. This is very important because this is going to selecting, you know, a time zone is very important because this is going to uh, define uh, your, your operating hours, right? So let's say you are in New York. If you don't select Eastern Standard Time, once you go in the configurations and you select from nine to five, it's not going to be new york nine to five it's going to be somewhere else because it's in a different time zone so it's very important so in this case let's say I, if i was in new york i'm going to say eastern time so when i decide when i define the the, the operating hours they you know match the, the the region i am in right so here is managed assistance so this is uh, where you're going to def, uh, decide what attendants are going to be a part of this department so you have all the you will have all the attendants that you have created over here and you can add them into this department or you can remove them from this department uh, if you choose to do so um, shortcut text this is uh, where you can create shortcuts you know for the keyboards for your operators to make the life a little bit easier so here we have a few in portuguese that come standard uh, but i can just say let's say gm that means uh, good morning, and I'm gonna add, and there you go. Once your operator types GM, you're gonna, uh, the message is gonna be good morning. So it just makes life a little bit easier. You can create a lot of commands here. You can delete them or you can edit them over here. Pretty easy, uh, pretty uh, uh, comfortable to, to work when you have uh, those as well. And this is uh, uh, the basics. So those are fixed, those are, are you, you can edit them. But you can, for example, add uh, the client's name, the client's email, just by selecting that over here. Limitations and quantities. Here, you're going to set limits for your chats and for your operators. So this chat by attendance, you're going to decide how many chats at the same time can my operators deal with. So now it's zero, there's no limit. They can deal with up to 20, 30, whatever. Uh, but let's say mm, I don't want, I don't think that my operators can handle more than four chats at a time or five chats at a time. You can set this right here. And this is the inactivity message uh, limitation. So let's say a customer contacts you and they don't message back for like 20, 30 minutes. Then in this case, the, the chat is automatically closed, but you have to uh, decide that through here. So let's say 20 minutes, it's done. I don't think my operator should be waiting more than that. So if the client doesn't message in 20 minutes, the chat is going to be 
closed. Robot, this is different than the, 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 the configurations we did uh, in, the, in the dashboard. It's the same robot, but um, this is a different, if you want, this is, um, is, this allows you to create a automatic flow of messages from that, uh, from that robot, which is uh, different than the two standard messages that he, you know he receive once he opens the chat. Uh, you can activate this right here, uh, and you can select the option to suggest creating a chat at the end of the service. Uh, but if you want, you can create your on. You can click your on active, uh, and you can create the, the the cards. We're gonna have a specific tutorial on that, so we're not gonna get into this uh, right here. Let me delete this and set it as deactivated. Uh, but you're allowed to to create automatic automatic flows for your support team as well. And this is uh, what you know uh, what department is that flow uh, connected to? As they only have one, I only it only appears one. But if I want to to click on more, um, they would appear here. As I said, you're gonna have a specific tutorial for this option as well. So. Uh, if you want to have this, please make sure to access that and um, and uh, learn how to properly configure this. Right? Evaluation. So here you're going to decide how will your customers evaluate your chat, their experience, your operators. So you can enable the attendant evaluation, you can enable the service evaluation, or you can even enable a comment rating for. Um, for that chat so if you want the customer to leave your comment on how was he experienced or whatever you can do that through here and this you're going to decide if it's a thumbs from one to five or if it's a star uh, you know uh, evaluation just changes a little bit how you're going how the, the customer is going to uh, evaluate you and now here on the chat uh, very interesting uh, option very important option because I'm going to start from the bottom because it's the most important part. So then here is where you're going to um, set the opening hours from the chat. And as I said, it has to match the time zone that you selected previously. So let's say I don't want it to be open on. Okay, I don't want it to be open on Sunday. So I can select this, uh, and you can select the proper times depending on how. Uh, how, uh, let's say, I want this one to be open from 8 to 18. So Monday from 8 to 18, and you can decide that from uh, all the, the, the other days as well. Here, you're going to have the opening and the closing messages, uh, which, you know, welcome. Uh, we, we will soon assist you or thank you very much. You can uh, uh, register other questions if you want. Uh, but, and here you're going to decide if you want to have that chat open. Maybe you, I just want to close the chat for this department. I don't want to have it anymore, but I don't want to delete the whole chat. I want to delete the department. So you can just click here and the chat will not be active. So I'm going to click here on active. On events, you can choose to show, let's say, this, those logs for the clients. So it's going to uh, appear on the chat. Let's say, customer joined the chat, uh, operator Pedro took over the chat, Pedro closed the chat. So you can choose to show that to the client. So you know he sees if there's someone accessing to help him, if the chat's open, if it's closed. You can have that uh, as well. I'm just going to click here on no show. I don't want to show that, uh, but that again, it's up to you. Now you have configured the whole uh, uh, department for that chat. Simply click here on save, and there you go. Let's come back here for the departments. This is list. This is the department that I just configured. If I want, I'm simply going to click here on register new department, financial department. I'm going to click here on save. And I'm going to be in the same page uh, as I was before. And all I got to do is configure just as I did. Same thing with who's going to be a part of this, what shortcuts I'm going to have, limitations, everything that we just went through. 
for this new department. I saved it and now they are right here. I can click here to see if they are active or not. I can delete the department. I can change the name of the department or I can access the page that we just showed and make any changes on the department's configurations. Now, let's move on for the groups. What are the groups? The groups are a, a, a set of rules for multiple operators. So this allows you to have operators that are parts for that, that are a part of different uh, uh, departments, but they will follow the group rules. They can be part of the admin. Let's say you have a manager for your support team. You can put them in the admin and as well as in the um, in a department. So you can create those set of rules for uh, groups of attendance. So it's really interesting. So you can uh, make sure that they will they will only access uh, what they really have access to. So let's say I have the admin group, which is, let's say you, the owner of the company, the owner of the website, the one in charge. Uh, so if you click here, you can see what can I access? I can access everything. I can access the admin. I can access full on. I can take chats. I can close chats. I can transfer chats. You can do everything because you are the admin and I can control departments. I can control groups and I can control the, aim, the agents, right? And I here I can decide who is a part of this group and who isn't a part of this group. But let's say I want to create a new group for the technical support. You can say same one, click on save, and now I can set the rules for those. People on the technical support so, uh, support department. What can they do? Well, they can take chats, they can close chat, they can transfer chats, and they can see the line of chats, right? But I don't want them to access the admin functionalities, for example. I do not want them to control the departments, control the groups, or anything like that because, you know, they're not operating, they're not an admin. So this function allows you to really um, control and manage your team in a more specific way. Here, I can have other attendants to be a part of this group as well. So let's say, Pedro, I am both a part of the admin and a part of the technical support. So for me, my rules you know, are different than from someone who is only part of the technical support. And this is what the group allows you to do. Now, uh, let's move on to attendance. So here, as you guys can figure, uh, is where you will create the operators, where you give access to people so they can work on your department. You can filter here by department. So let's say I, I, I only want to see statistics from the technical support. And here I can choose uh, from the different operators. As I only have one, they will not appear. Uh, but again, I can choose for, for a different departments so I can see specific statistics. Same statistics that you saw in the departments here. You can see that how many chats were solved by each attendant, by the, the attendant that I selected, how many chats and were open and closed by this attendant in this period. Percentage of chats were attended by this operator in relation to total. Let's say this guy is responsible for 50% of all chats, 10% of all chats, 1% of all chats. So you can make decisions based on that as well. And you can see the average queue time and the average service time for this uh, for this operator. Now you're gonna click here on list of attendants. You will see that I am the only one. I can click here to um, make changes for this. Let me just show it to you guys again. I'm gonna click here so I can make changes for this operator. So this is my email. This is the email. This is my name. This is the email because the the operator is gonna use to access it. And you can select here what groups and what department this guy is going to be a part. So let's say I don't want to be a part of the technical support. So let's say I'm just going to click here on admin and click on save. If I want to do both, you can click and drag so you can cover all the groups. Same thing for here. Uh, I, just, I, I only want this operator to be a part of the financial department or I want it to be a part of both technical and financial department. Uh, simply click and drag and click on save. Everything that you do will be saved. I just only technical support, save, both, save, 
this is where you how, where how you're gonna manage your operators. Trying to add a new one, simply click on add new attendant and type an email. That person's email, which again is gonna be the email uh, that person is gonna use to access the account. Simply click here, uh, add an email, check, it's gonna be a correct email, and you're gonna click on save, and that person is going to appear on this list, and you're gonna manage it as we have been showing you guys for the whole video. On analytics, you will see more statistics overall on your entire chat system, not uh, 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 anything specific. So how many chats are open this week? How many chats were open? How many chats are in progress? How many attendants are online? And again, and how many total chats uh, uh, um, you're allowed um, to, to have? So just some more statistics for you and uh, uh, so you can manage your team in a better way. All right, now we know how to configure departments, how to configure the groups, how to configure the operators, and how we can manage all of those statistics. Now it's time for us to actually put this live chat to work. Let's add this to a website. And as I said, you will have two steps on this configuration. It's a very easy configuration whether the build roll website or an external website it's going to be very easy either way and i'm going to show you this part right now the first part is adding the script the second part is adding the website the uh, order that you're going to do doesn't really make a difference uh but you have to do both of them if you want your what your live chat to work so i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to jump into my website builder so we can continue with this configuration. All right, so here I am on my Builderall website builder and I'm going to add the live chat that we're just creating into one of my websites. This is the website that we're gonna do uh, in, this, in this video. So we're just gonna click here on settings. Uh, you're gonna have this page and as soon as you scroll down a little bit, you will have this script settings. Very easily, I'm gonna uh, open this page, I'm going to paste the, the script that I just copied from the live chat tool, and I'm going to click on save. That's it, that's the only thing you gotta do on the website builder. The only thing you gotta do is paste the script on the script settings. Now I can go back to my dashboard. I'm going to publish the website, and I'm going to go to the website as you guys said as you as you guys can see there is no icon for the live chat because i still need to do the second part of the configuration so i'm going to copy the website link and i'm going to go back to the literal live chat tool now i'm going to paste uh the the link right here and as you guys can see global script is successfully configured on the website there you go, that's all you gotta do. Uh, I added the script on my website, I added the, the URL in uh, the live chat tool, and I clicked on save. Now, oh, sorry. Uh, now my website is uh, functioning with, my live chat is functioning on my website.
All right, so now that both uh, script and URL uh, configurations are done, let's access the website so we can see uh, the live chat functioning. Now, I'm on my website, and as you guys can see, there is an icon right here, as I said uh, it would be. So if, let's say, I'm a customer, I'm accessing this website, and I want to have uh, a conversation with someone from this company. So I'm just going to click here. Now the chat is open with my Peter robot. Um, remember, I talked about the pop-up. This is the pop-up. So if I change the size of the pop-up, uh, this is what's going to be, uh, you know, changed. Now he asked my name. As I said, my name is Pedro. Now, nice to meet you. What's your email? I'm going to add an email. Let's say this email doesn't exist. Click here. Now, there's no department open in this moment because of the, 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 the times that we set. Uh, but if I wanted, um, I would see the departments uh, over there. I would click on the department and the chat would begin with an operator. But again, there's no one online in this department. So the department itself is not fully functioned. But as you guys can see, this is how it's going to work for you. You can see this icon is a floating button. So no matter where it your customer is on the website, he's always gonna have this option right here. He clicked on it, the pop-ups open, and the chat can begin. Now, let's go back to the Bureau live chat uh, so we can begin the, comp the this configuration on an external website instead. It is exactly the same, but we're going to show it in Wix just um, to have to demonstrate for you guys that it's really going to work um, no matter what kind of website you have. So I am um, here on my Wix Studio page, um, and I'm going to select this website to, to make my configuration. So I'm going to click here, select site. The site is loading. And I'm going to access the settings section right here. If you scroll down a little bit, you see the advanced. Configure it. It's not really advanced. It's pretty simple, but pretty much because dealing with script can be a little bit of um, of you know a, a hard time. You you really must know how to deal with with scripts most of the time. I think that's why they put it on advanced. As you guys saw, the configuration that we're doing that we're doing is definitely not advanced. So simply click here on custom code. It's important to access uh, to add the code on the head of the website. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention that up to now, but it's very important to add it on the head. That section that we demonstrated on the Bitroll Builder is the head of um, the website. And we even have this set right here, which is very important. If you add it on the body, it's not going to work. So it's important to always add it on the head. Uh, and this is the head section of the Wix. So I'm simply going to paste my code. I'm going to put a name, Bitroll Live Chat. Uh, all pages, if you want to limit to some pages, you can. Make sure that it's, it's in head and click here on apply. That's it, you're done. This is uh, enabled, no need to, to change uh, that. Uh, now you can go back to your studio. You can see site actions. Uh, you can click here on edit site. Just because I want to access the website and I want to get the URL so I can edit on the live chat tool again. Right, Wix is taking a little bit longer to load. I guess Wix is in. The raw builder, which loads way quicker, as you guys saw. Uh, click here on publish. I'm just gonna click on publish, so um, the website, you know, the URL uh, will appear to me. As I said, congratulations. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to go back to the Bitroll live chat, and I will show you guys a very interesting feature. I can add this live chat on multiple websites at the same time. You don't need to create one live chat 
different everything for each website that you have. You can have them on multiple. So I'm just going to add it the builder all seven. There you go. The global script is successfully configured. And all I got to do is click on save. Now I have the live chat successfully added on both a builder all builder website as well as an external website, in this case on Wix. Uh, you can do that on any external platform, as I said, and I'm pretty sure they will have um, both a support team that can help you with that configuration if you're not really sure where it is, uh, or they will have uh, some tutorials, some help materials that can help you find the, the head section for the script. It's important, if you don't know, if you don't know how to, where to find that, uh, simply access their support and ask, where can I find the head of my website so I can add a script? I'm pretty sure they're going to show you very quickly. Add the script there, save, bring the URL, add it here, and there you go. You can add it on multiple websites, um, uh, the live chat on multiple websites at the same time. Simply click here on save and the website is going to be working with a live chat. Very interesting tool, allows you to provide support for your customers in a very professional manner. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.